part of President Obama's commitment to reduce Pentagon spending, today the White House announced it plans to scrap the multi-billion dollar program to build a gigantic tank in the shape of a dragon. Joining us now is a critic of the cut, retired General Theodore Cotty. Hello, Brandon. General Cotty, opponents of the dragon tank point to things like its $10 million fangs and $35 million prehensile robotic tail and say this is somewhat Look, excessive. Brandon, developing new technology is essential to maintaining America's military advantage. Yes, of course, I understand. Just last week, but, for example, we figured out how to make the dragon scales glow in the dark. Oh, yes, but where are the limits for this kind of spending? Look, the Pentagon is reasonable. I mean, we've eliminated the pool and the ballroom in the stomach of the dragon. Right. But the final plan still called for a million-watt external stereo system. Well, the stereo system was a necessity. I see here its purpose was to, uh, quote, play the dragon's fearsome roar as it approaches the enemies, sending them scattering like field mice. Look, we need technology for tomorrow's battlefield, like the laser that sets a mile-wide skull-shaped area of land on fire. But or we the do... cyber armor, so after one of our troops is shot, his body will keep firing guns while rock music plays. So canceling projects like these... Are, is going to put uh, future generations of Americans in danger. Absolutely. We've made this mistake before. When Bill Clinton was elected, he canceled the giant invisible squid submarine project, and then the USS Cole was bombed. Well, that's true, but the, the military has had five years to complete the Dragon Was tank. the atomic and, bomb or karate developed in five years? Uh, I understand, President Obama but, is putting lives at risk. The only explanation I can think of is that he's terrified of dragons. House insiders say the president may even push to take down that all-seeing eye from the top of the Washington Monument. He'll face a lot of resistance. There. The eyes become a crucial part of homeland security. It costs a lot to maintain, but it sees all. Well, General Cotty, thank you for your time. I appreciate your being here. You're welcome, Brandon. Coming up next, the new Harry Potter film is encouraging more children to see movies made from books.